So this question says the initial number of bacteria in a population is 10,000. So I'm going to just underline that. And in fact, I'll write it down, right? So I'm going to treat this like a translate word problem question, which just means as I read information, especially quantitative information, I want to write down that information. So the population is 10,000. The next sentence says the bacteria in the population are observed to double in number every 12 hours. Okay, so times two per 12 hours, right? You're always going to get times two, which is the same as doubling, for every 12 hours. Which graph represents the number of bacteria Y in thousands X hours after the initial observation? So the good thing is these graphs represent exactly what we just read. So we know that at times zero, we should be at 10,000. So it looks like we are here, right? I'm assuming the y, the y values are in thousands. Yep, in thousands. So this is 10, right? It's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that's good. B is good. C is also good. And D is also good. Now, what will we expect to happen at the next marker on the x-axis, which is 24 hours? Well, if it doubles every 12 hours, then we'd expect it to be at 20,000 12 hours later, right? But then at 40,000, an additional 12 hours later, which means 40,000 at 24 hours after our initial observation. So at the 24 hour mark on the x-axis, we should be up to 40,000, which we are for choice A, we are, what's this, 10, 20, 30, so that's not the case. We're only at 30,000 for choice B, so B is gone. We are only at 20,000 for choice C, so C is gone. And at the 24-hour mark, we are barely at maybe 15,000 down here for choice D, so D is gone, leaving only choice A as the correct answer. Right, so while I used the translate word problem strategy, I also used my diagram <clears throat> strategy. Although in this case, the diagrams, which are specifically graphs, right, are in the answer choices instead of the question. I really took the information from the word problem and then drew in where I expected, right, the expectations of 10,000 and 40,000, where I expected those to be on my graph and used that visual representation to find my answer.